channel. Today I am going to have the second part of my new series where I talk to y'all about um, what I'm going to be calling should it stay or should it go. Where I have products that I am just not sure about that I wanted to test out and then I was going to get back to y'all and let you know if I decided to keep them or if I decided to get rid of them. The um, idea and the credit for this video goes to Love Heatherette. She just started doing this and hers is called The Chopping Block and 100% credit goes to her. I love the idea because I had some stuff sitting back and I'm like, what am I going to do with this? You know, should I get rid of it or what? You know, and I said, well, why don't I, first I said, why don't I, you know, do my own version of it and talk to y'all about it and see what y'all think too. Um, I do have some of it on today and some of it I just decided to get rid of and like I said I'm going to call mine um, should it stay or should it go and mine is up for elimination <laughs> we got like one two three four five six seven eight nine products up for elimination and I got some more I'm adding in that I need to try out I was looking through my makeup I'm like yeah well, I'm not sure about this when I was fairly recent if actually all of them are three of them are fairly recent and one of them you already kind of know my feeling was on but I'm still going to try it out but let's get started on what is up for elimination. The first thing up for elimination is the Milani Baked Bronzer. And this is the one in 06 Gold. And this is, uh, me and my friend both got one of these when they were on clearance at uh, Kmart last year. Or the year before last, actually. Gorgeous, gorgeous color. It, it, it is really dark. I usually can make dark ones work for me. But it is so highly pigmented. And it has so much orange in it. it. It just, it's so orange. And then the shimmer, I can't deal with it. I, I just, no matter how light I apply this, it just does not look right on me. I mean, it is gorgeous. I love it. I think I know somebody that this might work for, and I'm going to give it to them. Because, um, I mean, I've only used it, like, maybe a handful of times trying to get it to work. I used it once as eyeshadow. It was beautiful as an eyeshadow because of the shimmer in it. But I just, it's too dark for me and pulls too orange on my very, very pale skin. So I just couldn't do it. So that one is going. Um, let's go to one that isn't going. Um, the Fergie Wet n Wild Center Stage Collection Around the Clock Blush. Looks like this. Looks very bright in the pan. I do have that on my cheeks today. The, really the only thing I don't like about this is how much powder picks up. I mean, I don't know if y'all can see that. That's what it looks like. It is powdery, but it does blend out well, and it does stay on the skin really well. It is really, really pretty. I mean, I used a light hand today. I had to tap my brush off like five times. But it is really, really pretty. It blends very nicely, and it lasts on my skin all day. So I did decide to keep this, because I don't think I really have any this bright. So I'm going to go ahead and keep this one. So that one is staying. Another one that is staying, you know, I told you I was really let down by the e.l.f. illuminating palette because it was so, it just wasn't as bold and in your face as I like, plus it was really, really chalky. It's still chalky in my opinion. It is very, very chalky. I mean, when I'm wiping it on my hand, it's just going everywhere. I mean, it's very chalky. I will give it that. And I love, you know, this is a blush topper. It's really pretty. But I found if I used a more dense brush, this is what I got. I got a mixture of the top two, the pink and the white, on my cheeks and, and nose today and Cupid's bow. I found if I used a more dense brush, it worked so much better. I was using my regular uh, Estee Lauder fan brush or my e.l.f. Sm uh, small tapered brush to do it. And both of those, just even though they work great on all my other highlighters, most of my other highlighters, they just were not dense enough. So I had another br a couple of brushes that were more dense and I tried those. And it goes on so much better, and it gives it better color payoff, and it blends in better. It just looks really, it looks a lot better when I use those brushes. So I am going to keep this. I'm more satisfied with it now, and it's, although it's chalky as I'll get out, I mean, I've already got a dip in the pink when I've been playing with it so much, but I am going to keep this, and like I said, use a more dense brush, and this is good for, you know, a more subtle highlight. You know, need to put down the highlight. You don't need to bathe in it. <laughs> another one I am deciding to keep, and while it's another highlight, y'all know me and my highlighters. I can't, it's hard for me to part with highlighters. Um, this is the Wet n Wild Mega Glow uh, Illuminating Palette, the Catwalk Pink. This one, I 
this one also worked better when I used a more dense brush. It does have kick up, not as bad as the e.l.f. one, but it did work better when I used a more dense brush. I love using this as eyeshadows too. I used it as eyeshadows one day. Gorgeous. They all are gorgeous on the lid. I mean, it's just really pretty. And these two over here make great blush toppers. I kind of knew I was probably going to keep this one anyway because I love using these two for blush toppers to make the blush pop a little bit more. But as eyeshadows, they're great. And when you use a more dense brush, these work a lot better, just like the e.l.f. ones. But, you know, it's me and my dang highlighters. I can't, I have a hard time parting with highlighters. But I made them work. I found the right brush to use. A more dense brush on both of those work great. Now, something I am getting rid of, and I'm kind of sad because y'all know I love my e.l.f. I'm getting rid of a couple of things from them. This is the e.l.f. Mac for Matte. I do have a little, uh, some of it on today, like in the crease. This is what it looks like. Everybody's seen it. A lot of people love this. I just don't. There, I only like, it, like this color and this color and this color, and that's about it. I'm not going to keep a whole palette just for three colors. Because I don't like the way it blends. It blends out muddy to me. Especially the darker colors just blend together and they look muddy. Now I do have the silver down as a base for another eye, my other eyeshadow. My more shimmery eyeshadow. And I line with the silver and the darker gray color down here on my lower lash line. On top of my uh, eyeliner. And these two are in my crease here along with this, you know, these three here. I just don't like the way they blend and it's not wow enough for me. So I've hardly used this palette, so I'm going to pass this on. Um, definitely going to pass this on to somebody that I know will use it. Because, like I said, it's hardly been used. And I know somebody else would get that really likes matte eyeshadows would get a lot of use out of this. So I'm, I am going to pass that on, too. Another thing from e.l.f. that I'm going to pass on, I'm sorry, Ratchet, I don't know why, <laughs> is the e.l.f. Foundation Serum. looks like this. This is way too yellow for me. I mean, come on. I am, I'm rosy undertone, you know, pink undertone. I don't know why I thought I could pull this off. Even mixing it with this BB cream I got from Dollar Tree, which is almost pure white. It takes so much work to get it to where it will match my skin. I mean, y'all know I don't mind mixing my foundations. I do it all the time. Did it in my last couple of videos I showed y'all. But this takes so much work. Plus I have to put in, like, my Monocadar, uh pink skin illuminator in with it just to get it to where it looks right on my skin and it takes too much work plus it's not that great of coverage it's it is very hydrating because it is a, ser a serum so if you match this give it a try if you like light coverage you know light to medium coverage because it is buildable and you can match this because their color range sucks in all their foundation but this is good if you, you need hydration and you like light to medium coverage or light to light medium coverage that is good for that, but for me this is just too yellow, it's too much work for me to get it to work on my skin, so I'm getting rid of it. Um, I've decided to keep, though, is that it besides, one, two, three, yeah, that's it. I did, did decide to keep the two Jordana, Jordana <laughs> eyeshadows, I can't talk, y'all. Uh, the one in Orange Shock, 210 Orange Shock, and then 212 Green Mist. Shove over the right way, I swear. Can't function lately. These are really pretty. I found if I wet my brush with Fix Plus or whatever, you know, whatever I have, my uh, setting spray or whatever, this does work really great on the lid. It's a great liner. I love putting it on lower lash line because you know my jewel colors. I love them. And I found wetting my brush, it worked a lot better. And plus a denser brush, it worked a lot better. Orange Shock is just a great crease shade when I'm going for a more fall look. And plus wetting my brush, it does look good on the, on the lid. So I did decide to keep these because I found, you know, they're all baked. So you need you need to wet your brush to work with these. So I decided to keep these. But that is, I'm getting rid of three. I'm keeping one, two, three, four, five. So I'm getting rid of three things and I'm keeping five things. That's not too bad. Now the rest of the stuff that is up for elimination is, let's see. Let's start with this. This is the Maybelline uh, Master Glaze by Face Studio. Um, this supposed to be a blush. This is warm nude. It's more like a bronzer almost. On this part. And that's it right there. It pulls kind of orange, so it could be a bronzer. It's supposed to be a blush. I'm not 100% sure how I feel about this. I need to play with it more, see if I can get it work as a bronzer. Because I'm, like I told you, I'm more like, like cream bronzing 
and cream contouring. I've just really been getting into it. And why do my cats have to interrupt me every time I do a video? May I help you, cat? Hush. Please hush. Sorry, guys. <laughs> the next thing up is this NYC Trio. And this is the one in West Bennett. It's got a light green, a dark purple, and a dark green in it. I just haven't really... I've only played with this like right after I got it like once or twice and I really only use this color here I need to play with it and decide if I like these other two colors because that's a really a dark purple and I only align with that so, but y'all you know no, I love my greens green is my favorite color in the world so I will play with it more and see what I think I mean it's good quality I love a lot of the NYC stuff is really good you know don't look down your nose at NYC because it's cheap it's really good um, this is a Hakari Radiant Shimmer Bronzer. Looks like this. Nobody's going to wear this as a bronzer. If you do, you want to bling even more than I do. You want to bling to Marvin the Martian and say hello. That's a little bit more than I want to bling. Because look how glittery that is. My friend got this in her Ipsy bag last year. She don't bronze. I mean, even though she got that bronzer, she don't really bronze. She's not sure how to do it right. It is just too shimmery for a bronzer. The blush is pretty. Very pretty blush, but it's hard to get to, you know, that small of a pan. This little bronzer over here is too boring for me, so I tend to use these as eyeshadows. I need to play with them more and see if I want to keep it, if that's all I'm using it for, because I really hate trying to dig that blush out when I got tons of blushes, individuals, palettes that are, you know, very similar to that color. So I need to decide if I want to keep this for eyeshadow or just go ahead and get rid of it. Now, the one y'all know I've already talked about um, in one of my last videos, this come in my uh, last Ipsy bag, the Pacifica Wild Rose Blush. Gorgeous. Oh, my God. When I saw this, I'm like, oh, God, this is gorgeous. But like I said before, I've only had one thing from Pacifica that I got in my Ipsy bag. I've never bought anything from them because I haven't been impressed. That was good, and that was the ethereal eyeshadow. It's great on the lid, and it's a great highlighter. I use it more as a highlighter than anything. Because I've hit pan and that sucker, it's almost gone. It's halfway gone. This is gorgeous, but you have to build it up. And when I say you have to build, I mean, look. You see me digging my finger in there. That's all that come out. It seems like it's trying to already get a hard pan. I mean, it's a pretty color. It's a really pretty color. I'm going to try it as an eyeshadow. Uh, wet my brush and try it as an eyeshadow and see how it works that way. Y'all know I love colors like this as an eyeshadow. Because as I said in uh, that one video, I had wore it that day and by the 3-4 hour mark, it had said, bye Felicia, I'm gone. See you later. It didn't care anymore. While everything else was still on my face, this was like, nope. We leaving. We tired. So I'm going to see how it works on my eye with my good primer and wet in the brush and see if it works in eyeshadow. as an eyeshadow because it's an eyeshadow pan size and it's gore you know, a gorgeous color. So we'll see, but I'm not holding out a lot of hope for this. I'm really not. I'm keeping it because it's so pretty. It's just such a pretty color to me. I mean, I wish I could see a little bit better. It's a uh, bronzy, cor a little bit of coral to it. Really pretty. Now, y'all know I just got this. What is this is kind of, I have to get it open to show y'all. I should have done this before. <laughs> I should have the video. I'm going to take the cover off. Okay. This is the LA Colors Contour 5 Piece Collection 3D. This was $3. This is sculpting and defining with the contour book. Got it at Family Dollar. Right before Christmas, I had like four bucks on me. I was like, why not? You know, it's contour and bronzing. I'll try it. I want to know who contours with this color. I'm just wondering. It makes a gorgeous eyeshadow. I need to play more. This is a little... This is a gorgeous eyeshadow. I probably will keep this just for this, this color here from the eyeshadow because it is gorgeous. I mean, oh my god, it's gorgeous. That is a gorgeous color. It makes a pretty eyeshadow. This is supposed to be a bronzer. That's what it looks like on my finger, on my hand, you can barely see it. It could be a highlighter on something a little bit darker than me. This one, that's a orange. 
orange. That is like a light orange color. Look at that. That is orange. That is orange. That is orange. And then this one here. That one I may be able to get to work to see how it's blending. Let me get it again and try right here. That one I may be able to get to work. It's just these colors pull orange a little bit too much for me, and this one had a little bit too much shimmer, but it's a gorgeous eyeshadow. I have more than an eyeshadow worn down in my last videos, uh, like three or four back. I wore it as an eyeshadow. And it was gorgeous, and I wore this like in the crease, and that a little bit of that in the crease. I do it with my brown wear sometimes. It was pretty. It's just I want to see if I can get it to work as a bronzer, especially this right here. But it is, you know, since it does pull so orange, I don't know if I want to go ahead and keep it. So I'm going to go ahead and put that up for illumination. Now the last thing, kind of sad I'm putting this up because y'all know I love almost everything I got from Ulta Beauty, the Ulta brand. This was in the uh, gold makeup case here. We have a special guest that looks on camera because he's over here patting my leg. Mama can't talk, can't she? I didn't hurt him. Say hi. We all know who this is. This is my bear baby. He's my bear cat. This is the most bored cat you'll meet in the world. Your hair's going everywhere. You need to be brushed. You want a bath? You want a bath? You want a bath? He looked at me like, bitch, please, you give me a bath, I'll claw, your, claw all your makeup up. <laughs> I'll eat your lipstick. Anyway, this is the uh, one that come in the gold makeup case with everything else that I, you know, that I got. It doesn't have a name on it. Y'all know I love the eyeshadows. The Gilded Gold is in my project pan. But this is what it looks like. I've played with it a few times, and I'm just not that impressed, especially these two colors right here, I'm not really impressed with, and I thought I would love this one, but I really, I do like these two colors, I have not played with that or that, I have played with these, pretty much these right here, and they're pretty good, but I don't know if it's good, you know, if it's, it's enough for me to keep it, so I want to play with it a little more, and, you know, see what I think, because I got lots of jewel tone colors, so I mean, you know, I don't really need another one, I just got the CoverGirl True Naked Jewels. So, but, we'll see. I'll probably wind up keeping it because I do love my old eyeshadows. They last on my eyes all day, with or without a primer, you know. Like I said, don't look down your nose at all that stuff. They got some amazing, amazing stuff. So, I'm going to give this, you know, try this out a little bit more and I'll get back to you in the next video. But that is what I've decided to keep, what I eliminated out of my collection. I just can't work with it. Too dark, just doesn't work, too chalky, whatever. And the, the rest is what is up for illumination in the next video. I don't know if I'll have any more stuff up for illumination. I might, I might not. But I really love this idea. I want to thank Heather, love Heather Ed for this idea. And like I said, 100% credit goes to her. Thank you so much, uh, love Heather Ed. And I'll put her information down below. Y'all do need to check her out. Y'all know you've heard me talk about her before. I love her to death. She's such a sweetheart. Watch her wedding video. She had the most beautiful wedding. It's just pictures, but the way she put it together was gorgeous. Her dress was stunning. I mean, just the, her colors, everything was just gorgeous. Her her husband is so handsome. You could tell how much in love that they were. It was just a beautiful, beautiful wedding. So subscribe to your ch her channel. She has lots of cool, different ideas that she does, and I. I never miss one of her videos. I, I really, she's one of those people, I, when I see her come up my feed, I watch her. Like her, Dre and Lisa Stevens, when they come up in my feed, I have to watch them. So, you know, subscribe to all those girls. But love Heather Red, all credit goes to her. Okay, what is on my face today? I showed you the eyeshadow um, that I did have on um, from um, the e.l.f. palette that I did rid of. So I wanted to test it one last time. I have my Black Radiance Perfecting Primer, my, my baby. And um, I have the Maybelline The Rock Nudes. I have uh, the silver and the pinkish color on my lid. That's the silver you see. And uh, the white is as my brow bone highlight. This is one of the ones I like. I must have got a really good one because this one is really pigmented. And it lasts on my eyes. I must have got a good one. 
this one, General Don'ts. These are very iffy. I saw the 24 karat one when I saw the um, CoverGirl Jewels one, and I'm like, I'm like, oh, brighter colors. Y'all know me, I gotta have my brighter colors. Okay, now, just my own eyes. Let's just stick with that in my eyes. Come on, Nita, get your shit together, Nita. Okay, alright, you saw my primer. And my eyebrows are my Ofra brow pencil. The unit, I think it's universal. My eyeliner is my Beauty For Real um, eyeliner, 24 7 eyeliner. I love this stuff. I tried my, and my, my lower lash line. This stuff is good, guys. It's so creamy. It lasts. It smudges out easily, but it does set. I really love it. So I have to grab my liquid eyeliner. But y'all know what that is. That's my e.l.f. liquid eyeliner. Y'all know I wear that all the time. And I have a mixture on my eyes of my Too Faced Better Than Sex. And my Ulta Legendary Lynx mascara. It has one of those rubber uh, brushes, the hourglass shape. It does bend a little bit. It's hourglass like the, but not as big as the Too Faced Better Than Sex. I really like this mascara. It gives you nice, nice length and separates them really, really nicely. I put, I put the Better Than Sex on first and I go in with this one because it'll separate them better for me and give me more length. Okay, what else do we have on our face today? My primer is my e.l.f. Coilless Face Primer. My foundation is my CoverGirl on Lay Face Lift Effect in light. Y'all know I love this stuff. It's full coverage. It's creamy. It doesn't dry my skin out. I hope this is not discontinued because I put it in big lots. I need to get... How much do I have? Ooh, I'm halfway done with this, guys. I need to go back and see if they got another one because it was only $6. Big lots. I really like it. It's a little bit too dark for me, but bronze up my neck. I'm fine. Okay, what else we got? Uh, my e.l.f. Highlight in concealer. You know I love that. Mine set my under eyes with my Fergie or my Wet n Wild mattifying powder. I can't talk today. And my bronzer is a combination of my Monaco contour stick. You know, it's what's in right here and on my neck mainly. And my Elf Warm Tan Bronzer. They had some of these marked down along with all the lipstick and stuff like that. I might go back and see if they have them because I've already had them on this one. And this is my second one. I love this one. It may look dark, but it's it's just pigmented enough that you can build it up. It's not too dark. I, like I said, this is my second one. And I'm pale and I make it work for me. I mean, I don't think it's too dark on me. And this is you know, my base. And I'm doing pretty, this is in my project hand MC. I'm trying to get through a little better. Okay, is that it? Besides what's on my lip? I line my lips with my Lord and Berry uh, nude liner and have on the Tarte Lip Surgeons in Wonder. We all know what that looks like. Very pretty color. I just don't like the smell of these. And they don't. I've just put some on before. And it's already wearing off. And I was like 15 minutes ago. And they dry my lips out a little bit too, so I don't think I will ever purchase one of these. Sorry, Tart. I just don't like it. Thank y'all for joining me. If y'all have any questions or comments, leave them down below. Um, if y'all would like to do this also, I'd be glad to see, you know, what you're iffy on. You know, I think it's a great video idea. But any questions or comments, leave them down below. If you'd like to stick around for a while for my madness and craziness, just hit that subscribe button. If you like what you see, hit that like button if you want. And I'll talk to y'all later.